Legends, legends, legends. Come on, Ronnie Lott, man. Charles Woodson and Rod Woodson. Daryl Green, Darrell Revis. Intercepted. Picked off. Good night, Irene. Come on, baby, with your sweet set. Come get me, baby. I'm right here. You got to be kidding me. This is the best of the best. And I'm elated. I can't wait to get in there. NFL 100th anniversary, and I am sitting amongst some straight dogs. How does it feel for you guys to be sitting here? When they gave that call, Prime, they called. They said, hey, man, we, we got this 100-year anniversary thing going on, and we thinking about inviting some DBs from different generations. What do you think? Man, what time am I supposed to leave? <laughs> right. Man, I'll be there. Down the right side is picked by Ronnie Lott, and he's got a lane. He's to the 40. He's running high. This is the Godfather. Well, no, 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 straight up. No, straight up. Straight no. up. You made it this way, man. I remember playing against you when I was a rookie, man. You had the whole team scared, man. <laughs> I mean, but you are that to us. Do you, you know that, right? But I had a little old school in me. And I think about all the positions that we all have played and situations that we've all been in. The question is, could you master it? Mm -hmm. and, I, and, I, and, and knowing what I know, all of you guys mastered those moments. Everybody at this table, though, was pushed by somebody at this table. Yeah. It was influenced yeah. Right. by somebody at this table. Yeah. Right. Generation. Right. No, you're right. You know, right. It, it was right. like, like that man right there, oh, no. one defensive player of the year. I said, hey, man. <laughs> <laughs> hey, man. <laughs> why why you start playing corner, bro? Um, you know, I didn't play corner. Like, all my whole life from, I started playing football when I was nine years old. I played safety. I was a safety and a running back. I got safety running back all the way through high school. All right, go to Purdue. I wanted to be a running back, receiver. They were like, nah, you're going to be a safety. So I was a safety all the way through Purdue. And then I ran my 40 at the combine. They said, you're going to be a corner. Yeah, you outside, man. <laughs> so I went to the corner. I was like, man, like, when I first went to corner, I was lost. Because I'm used to when you're used to playing safety, you all 22. I'm back here. And I now going to the corner, I was on the island. I had to go to the outside. And then all my friends are over there. Yeah. I felt lonely. No help. After that third year, that's when I finally clicked in where I'm like, OK, I can play this guy. I can cover Drew Hill. I can cover Humphrey. I, so I can start covering those guys. I believed in it. And then, you know, that's when I finally said, OK, I can play out here. I can play. Then I played another 12 years out there. For me, man, it was, really, man, it was, it was y'all. I mean, you guys made the cornerback position fashionable. Again, I, I love ball hawks, so I used to watch you out there on the island, and that guy come with that little quick step. <laughs> Bam. Throw that ball, are you gone? I said, yeah. Oh, watching Pride, man. What time is it? Showtime, prime time. It's intercepted, Dion. they can't stop him. That's why they get Dion Sanders those nicknames, because when he gets it in his hands, you can put excitement on you. Yeah, I want some of that. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I want some of that, man. So watching y'all, man, through the years is, that's what did it for me. I think we've taken bits and pieces, even uh, Charles. I remember watching Charles play against Randy. Right. Mm -hmm. And both of you guys got outside leverage so you could see the ball coming. Mm -hmm. Say, OK. Okay. Right. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay. I gotta, okay. 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 I got to get some of yeah, that. The patience, yeah. the patience of this yeah. man, you know? Yeah. And then watching the film on this man yeah. right here. Yeah, Daryl. I saw this somebody run a slant on him in the corner, and I saw him speed turn. I said, Lord, I just rewound that thing back. <laughs> like, okay. okay. I mean, every everybody. In we, we, all, we all take something from, you had to from each something. other. I got to ask you a question, though, because all of you are thieves. <laughs> <laughs> so what does that feel like? You know, it's something just, you know, in you to compete. You know, the competitiveness that you have in, inside you to just go out there and uh, disrupt the offense and um, make turnovers. Throws it right, intercepted, picked off by Rebus. Touchdown. I feel like it's mine. Yeah. <laughs> you know, man, that's, 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 that's my ball. Uh, you know, yeah. it's meant for me. Team, team, you, get, yeah. you get into a game and, and all of a sudden you get two or three balls thrown your way, you're like, well, hold up. It's me, man. Yeah, yeah. What's happening? Right. You know what's going on. You must be throwing the ball to me. You yeah. know, so anytime I was out there on the field, 
It didn't matter who it was. If you were coming to my side, I felt like you meant for this ball to be my ball. Right. You know, it right. ain't about right. your receiver. It's, right. right. it's about me. Because when you think about all the great players, they all got the rock. Mm -hmm. Right. But it's a mindset. You know, a lot of guys' mindset is knockdown. You know, we talked about that when you, you was coaching with the Raiders that yeah, year. Yeah, before that, <laughs> the last thing, the <laughs> last thing it was would be the interception. That's what was his last thought. For me, it was like I'm getting a pick first. Yeah, right. I'll knock the ball down if I can't get there, and if you happen to catch it, then yeah. I'm gonna tackle you. Yeah. So I'm like reverse. I, I'll always and I, your mindset, ball going the air. All ODBs thought ball goes in the air is my ball. Well, dogs thought that. Not right. most. Not every. Not most every, DBs. Yeah. The great ones do though. Play. Ninety-five percent of DBs play not to get beat. That's they, let's get that. They play scared. Right. That's right. They play right. not to get beat. Right. Right. They ain't even turning around. <laughs> Thank, <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> right. Thank you. Yeah. I play. How you get the ball? My, you can't locate I, it. <laughs> boy, yeah. I'm thinking. Yeah. Don't even throw the ball over here. I want to just be clean and white for the whole day. Right. No tackles, <laughs> no, tackles, no ball. That's a good no day. Right. That's a good day. Yeah, yeah. not that. I, mean, I learned that probably. Four years into the league, like, look, man. Like, man, look. Longevity is a lot no, in mean, this game. Yeah, I remember hey, you yeah, pulled look, me to the side, side and said that to me when I first came into the How league. How many guys did you play opposite yeah. of? But I was taught that. Bobby Butler sat me on the stool. He said, look, young fella, you running up in there like you crazy. Bobby was a good player, man. He said, you got to protect them shoulders. The longer you play, the more money you make. I said, ooh. <laughs> <laughs> you had to tell me twice. <laughs> Intercepted by Law. Dion's goal of all. Gerald Green. Charles Woodson picked up by Revis. Electric interception. Yeah! It's hard coming from my era because that Joe Montana, man, was something special. Dan Marino was something special. Elway. I could keep going on and on from my era that had great receivers. Tom Brady is a classified, bona fide winner. In the early 2000s, they won three of four. Now they have won three of the last five. And yes, it's still a dynasty. You played with Tom in Michigan, right? Yeah, I came in, we came in together in 95. You know, people always ask, you know, hey man, did you see that in Tom Brady? And nobody could foresee, you know, six championships. You know, that's, that's, that's unreal, that's unheard of. But what you did see out of Tom is his competitive spirit. Tom had that fire in him. He always thought he should have been the quarterback his whole time there. He has that chip on his shoulder, then he goes 199th overall, and that chip just continues to grow. I just don't think he's ever lost it because it seems like people still doubt him in some way. Mm -hmm. My boy is probably sitting there right now going, you mean you're not gonna take up for me? Right. <laughs> Down and back to throw. Goes for the end zone. Touchdown, 49ers! Throws into the end zone. Touchdown! What a play by Montana. What a catch by Clark. Joe did not like to lose. Yeah. And he was going to take your lunch money, man. He was all in. I'm always about making the right decision. How do you make the right decision all the time? And that's something that, you know, to me, Tom has made a lot of right decisions, right? At the same time, my boy never lost, so. Never. <laughs> so. I had an opportunity to actually play with, with Tom Rivals for six years. OK. So I was on, the, I was on one side <laughs> playing for the Jets, competing against him and studying against him, and then also team up with him to actually win the Super Bowl. And when you're on the rival side, you always you study and you're trying to figure this guy out. Week in and week out. We played him twice a year. Same conference, you're just trying to figure this guy out. Like, what does he have that I don't have? What is driving him more than, than my drive, you know? And when I had the opportunity to, to team up with him and I was around him every day, I was like, yeah, this guy is the ultimate competitor. Is there anybody that you wanted that you didn't get? Mm. Quarterback-wise? Mm. Yeah. Mm. I never got paid. Peyton got me. If I wanted to really get somebody, it would still be Tom because, I mean, I, and I said, I, I said Dan Marino is the best quarterback I ever played against, but I keep what's watching this, this guy play over yeah. the course of week time. Week in and week out, Week in and week out, year. Year. he don't complain. 
He just go out there and ball. Yeah. That's Speaking what I, that's what I love about him. Marino was drafted one pick ahead of me, and I never got him. That's my only guy I didn't get. Yeah. I want a Brady, man. But you don't know, want a Brady. Especially you want a Brady. You know, I, I got to bring up the Tuck rule. Yeah, the Tuck rule. rule. I know. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Lost the football. It's on the ground. Covered by the Raiders. The quarterback's arm was going forward. It is an incomplete. Oh, but I, I remember I, I, that. I, right. I dropped, I dropped two of Brady's one time, and and one of them was for sure a touchdown. And I don't know if I just got too excited. Yeah, huh? But I looked up, and the ball was there, and I reached my hands out, and all I saw was sideline, and that ball went down my leg, up my knee, and to the sideline, man. And I just, <laughs> I passed out. Wow. We all got to talk about one that you took to the house. Lawrence has time, and his pass is intercepted. Deion Sanders. Deion Sanders is dancing. He's That's... looking backwards from about the 40-yard line. My favorite one was Atlanta, because it, you know where it came from? It came from studying. Mm-hmm. Like I saw it. Right. Trips. Mm -hmm. I knew what was coming. So I said, ooh, here, here it go. come. And I just sat in the end zone and just kind of chilled. And when he threw it, oh, Ooh. it was so funny. <laughs> it was so funny because I had told the, the late Dwight Clark, I'm going to pick off a ball, I'm going to go down that sideline, and I'm going to look at him, and I'm going to high step him. I said, on the plane, <laughs> on the plane. And, and I'll be darned, he threw it, man. It. He threw it. So that was my favorite one because it was at the crib. Yeah, everybody, yeah, yeah. everybody always downplay when you play against your old team. No, it's just a regular right, game. Right, right, right. No, it's a regular game. This is my house. I don't care if I'm with the Falcons or not. This is my house, and this will always be my house. I want to know, because you talked about, you know, getting wisdom. Mm -hmm. What's something that somebody told you that kind of stuck you, with you? You read on. That's because what I was I, Because I remember talking to you when I was a young baby in the game, and his words with me were, stay low and always do something extra. And that was it. So now every time somebody comes to me, I say, man, listen, you know what Prime told me a long time ago? Stay low. I always do something extra. And you it was know, that it's interesting you say that. Nobody said anything to me, but I got on the bus in the Pro Bowl my second year with this guy right here. And it, it, it isn't what they yeah. said, it's how they embraced me. Because, I, you know, I'm just a little scared chicken, you know. And they, they made me feel like I was somebody. You know, we forget that the greatness of life is to have people do what you just right. said and give you the wisdom and to share with you and talk to you about it. And, and to me, that's what I love about being here today is that soaking it in, more importantly, that you had a conscious idea of wanting to be the best. Everybody sold out this week. Everybody. Damn, it's great, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Players can help you and they, they give you the insight of how they see the game too, which is always great to see, because you never know. It's something that you can put on your tool belt. Yeah. Every, you can't do everything that they do, but you can probably take something. But then, man, if you can get to a certain spot where coaches let you be you, because the best players are who they are. On they the ain't going to let you be you until you know who you are. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> no, no, no. You no, got to no. know who you are. No, you got to know who you are. Otherwise, you're just saying, a robot. Right. No, but I'm, yeah. some, I'm saying, but a lot of coaches, some coaches will make you a robot. The best coaches that I've been around have been coaches who let me be who I was, let me celebrate that way I want to celebrate, let me speak the way I want to speak, let me do my own technique with inside of the framework of the defense. Yeah, right. And then once I see it, believe it, and go get it, every coach wouldn't let you do that. 95% of our country are followers, man. Mm. That's right. Absolutely. That's right. It's only 5% that are leaders. That's right. And it just happens to be this table is leaders that, that know how to lead. But the most of the country is followers, man. That's, that's it's really the easiest what it thing is. to do. And you're you know how many people have played, though, man? I mean, played this game. And we sitting up here. You know how many people have really played this game, man? That, and we sitting here? That's a great point. Because those cats was followers, man. Mm -hmm. Ain't nobody had to get you up. Hey, ain't nobody no. had to get you up. Ain't nobody had to get you Ain't nobody had to get you up to go get it. You self-made, man. Let's go. Wake up, baby. Let's look alive. Let's go. Wake them up. Game to do today, baby. Oh, what a hit. Hey, we got some duking going on. And getting hit, and I mean hit hard. Oh, what a play. Pro Bowls ain't what they used to be. Man, it was everything. Like, you couldn't wait for that day to come yeah. that, man, I made it. Your peers. I made it. First of all, in our era, it was me and Daryl. That's right. Then who was going to be the next guy? Right. So you fighting for one or two spots. Yeah. 
Now it's like, it's a toss up, man. What's changed is that everybody, <laughs> everybody's concerned about the money and, what, and the money that they're trying to make and what they think they may lose if they go over there to the Pro Bowl well, and something I, happens. So, I, so that, that's at the forefront of what they're thinking about other than saying, hey, this dude came across to, 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 to Hawaii, Hawaii and he think he gonna beat me today? You think he can beat me during the season? Nah, I'm not letting it happen. Jets cornerback Darrell Rivas signing his new contract, ending that 36-day holdout. Four years, $46 million, $32 million guaranteed. I love how you've done it and how you went about it. You bet on you. And we all have been in that situation where you're trying to get a deal done and, and you just don't have the leverage. And, and I love that you bet it on you. And you were able knew, to make that happen. Worth, he knew his worth. worth he right. He knew his worth. Yeah. yeah. Knowing your worth. Yeah. Uh, and also, you know, paving the way for the position. I think everybody at this table have passed that torch. This position that we played and we've mastered it. Some 10-year-old kid right now is trying to master it. He's, he's looking at everybody at this table and beyond. Who's the fastest man in the National Football League? It's picked off by Daryl Green. Uh-oh, they're not catching oh, it. When he gets it in his hands, he can put excitement on you. OK, we, we're sitting at the table, and you know we're around a lot of speed. But the question everybody going to look at this program and say, well, who was the fastest? I wasn't. <laughs> <laughs> we ran in the world's fa or the NFL fastest man. Well. I can't say he cheated. Well. He did get a rolling start, though. So, so he got me. technicality. He got me. How you he feel got, about that, Daryl? He got me. He got me by like like that. Hey, y'all know it's enough room right outside these no, doors. I ain't, no, 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 I ain't, ain't talking about, ain't talking about now. I'm talking about then. That's what I'm saying. Then now he got me. He got you. He got me. Daryl, that's so that that leads He's, me and you. <laughs> This is like breaking news. There, well, that, that, that means that, that, that's, that's, <laughs> that's down to me and you. How you think it would have went down? With me and you? Yeah, true. Well, uh, there's only one guy gonna get first. Well, I'm getting at the hole. <laughs> <laughs> so, so you saying you, so you saying you gonna come and get me? Cause I'm getting out the hole. Hey, hey. Yeah, if you getting out the hole, I'm getting I'll out the hole. Come and get you. And look who caught it. Only one man on the field could catch him, Daryl Green. So you gonna come and get me in a forty? I came and get everybody. In a else. in a forty. I'm an O. <laughs> I don't know how many of them beat, but I'm, I hadn't lost. We're talking about a young man that runs a 4 2 5 40. That is burning. When you think of the guys today, is there one guy that you go, that you look at and you go, I, I just love the way that they ball? Is there one guy on the field that. I think one guy that I watched last year, and uh, you know, I was critical of him when he came from his former team. He was with the with the Buffalo Bills. Then he went over to the to the Patriots, and that's Gilmore. I thought the way he stepped his game up. I don't know what it is, what what they doing over there with the Patriots locker room or practice. What what they are doing to have six chance? I don't know, but I thought the way he played and the way he showed out in that Super Bowl could have been the Super Bowl MVP. Takes the nap. Harmon out of blitz. Goff throws it to the right. Intercepted. Gilmore's there. Yeah. Intercepted at the four. This year, I thought he stepped his game up, you know, as far as, you know, the, Gilmore the players play. now. Gilmore's a baller. You know, I, I like Jalen. Um, I like Jalen. Yeah. Yeah. You know, I think he's a tremendous athlete. I, I would hope that he would be more of a technician over the course of time because he's just playing with so much athletic mm -hmm. ability because he is very, very talented. What a play by Jalen. He made up ground, and he picked it off in the middle of the end zone. I think he's very smart and savvy. Also, it's his growth. It's his growth. He has all the tangibles uh, to take the DB position to the next level, I feel. I like Pat Peterson, man. Showtime, game time on the big stage Sunday night football. Can't beat it. Because the first day he came into the NFL, he went to the one. Right. Day one, he went to the one, That's right. and he hadn't stopped going to the one. So he may get beat here and there, but he's playing against the dog. Yeah. So I, I like, I like Pat, man. Yeah. Are we saying playing good? A good one day sit around this table. That's Ooh. a good point. Now. Hey, hey, hey. I don't see anybody. Uh, maybe well, well, Jalen, Jalen and Pat. Jalen and Pat. Right now. Yeah. They yeah. on their way. Yeah, I mean, I mean, you just talking about who can play good. I mean, I'm pretty critical. I mean, I, I have a high standard. Yeah, right. <laughs> like, you know, I, I can see. Looking, we I are, be looking, I be looking we, at we stuff like, too. man, what is this y'all talking about? I don't, hey, don't ask me. But, I mean, sitting around this table, I, I do like the fact that Pat been there a long time. And like you said, day one, give me this guy. So I like that. I like that. I give him the, the big nod of all of them. Patrick Peterson, two picks. 
That is one bad bird. I want to thank everybody for being here. And, uh, we could have did this all day. Uh, all day. We don't have to leave. Right. Uh, they they got to go, but we don't yeah, have to go. Right. There you go. <laughs> but this is the 100th anniversary, and man, I would have loved to play with each and every one of y'all, man. I mean, it would have been unbelievable.